Hey there, welcome to the Film Flunky. I'm Samson Crippen, your resident film flunky. Today's movie review is all about Spider-Man 2. Let's check out the trailer. You know what it is I love about being Spider-Man? Everything. <laughs> well, aren't you special? Or at least you were five years ago when Spider-Man seemed like an original idea. But needless to say, Peter Parker meets, guess who? Harry Osborn, soon to be the Green Goblet, hmm? What have you been up to? I do some web design. Web design? How cute, Hollywood. You update it from a library nerd to a web designer. We all know that's a fat lie. You save people, you fat spider. But hey, did you know Spider-Man can skip a hell of a rock? Nice arm. It's just the wrist, it's just on the wrist, buddy. Yeah, it's in the wrist. Wow, imagine that guy pleasuring himself. Talk about tingling his Spidey senses. But Oscorp has been keeping tabs on Spidey. Wait a minute, is this an NSA reference, Hollywood? Playing it close to home. But introducing the latest bad guy to the Spider-Man franchise, and hey, they finally let a black guy in. Of course, just to kill him. Give it up for Jamie Foxx as Electro. He gives this web slinger some handy advice. You wanted to be the hero. Need a hand? Now you gotta pay the price. That's right, if you wanna be a hero again, you're gonna have to pay the ultimate price if you wanna change the world. Is that right, guys? Are we changing the world Obama style? Huh? We can change the world. Then let's go catch a spider. Yeah, catch a spider if you can with that stupid rhino suit. But if anyone thought Spider-Man couldn't handle it, it's that girl with the funny mouth from the help. And she's not helping Spidey right now when she says this. This is bigger than you, Peter. Who do you think you're talking to? This is Spider-Man, baby. With great power comes great responsibility. He can handle it. And if he can't, don't worry. They'll make another series of these crappy movies in a couple more years, starting Jonah Hill as the fat Spider-Man. All in all, the movie was all right if you like seeing CGI just like every other blockbuster movie. One thing Spider-Man did well was locking down his woman like a straight up pimp. Check it out. I'm coming with you. Fine, that's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you. Don't hate me. Peter, damn it, don't stick me to this car again. I wish I could do that to my wife, but over her mouth sometimes. Just joking, honey. I you know I love you. <laughs> but why listen to me? Let's see what the people had to say about the film. It was a good movie, but it was really, really confusing. Well, folks, that's all I got for Spider-Man 2. Maybe next time you could buy me a Coke and some popcorn. I'm a starving comic, after all. We'll see you next time on the silver screen as I review yet another movie. I'm Samson Crouppen. Follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is The Film Flunk A.